I'm here with Bill Brundle. Ken, how you doing? Uh, how you doing today, Bill? Uh, we got some new planes here that are really kind of exciting. I mean, for the Wardberg guys out there, a lot of us didn't have the smaller stuff, and you're kind of filling that market in. It seems like. Yeah, this. Uh we, we've been looking at the market as well and, and thinking that, you know, we've been doing 60 size Warbirds for a number of years. Right. Very popular. And we introduced a Corsair 50 last year. So the follow-on to that is our current P40B model in a 50 size, 46 to 55 size two-stroke. Right. And uh, this is uh, the latest from Hangar 9 in the Warbird line. Okay, so this is this comes out of the box uh, as you see it. Is it set up for retracts, for the electric retracts? Uh, out of the box, the airplane comes with fixed landing gear. It includes a scale P40 wheel with the scale P40B hubcap, solid hubcap, right. and the scale rubber tire. And then you do have an option to place an E-Flight 100 degree electric rotating retract into the airplane. It's designed to accept those. Okay. So you have the option, however you want to finish it off. Out of the box, Everything you see here is included except for one item, and that is the pilot. That is the only option in the airplane that is not included other than the retract. Okay, so okay. you purchased that so separately. That is purchased separately. So out of the box, it does come with the spinner Okay. that is either optioned as a two-blade or three-blade. Oh, so you Only do one of the hubs is cut out, and then there are notch marks around it. You determine if you want to fly a two-blade propeller. Or if you're flying a P40 scale, then you can opt for a three blade. So you give the you give the user the, their choice. They can do what they want. They he has to, an option. Don't have to buy an extra spinner. Right, exactly. We give him that option. The guns are included. The scale guns are included here. We've got them set up so that you can take them in and out for transport. Because right. we all know that when you place a gun, you know, like that out, it's the first thing that gets hit. Absolutely the first and they thing get that broken. breaks. So we, we put these in here, we modified them a little bit to make them a little nicer, a little sharper. So it includes the four four gun ships there. Um, it's covered in, you know, traditional ultra coat. Correct. Um, you have three power options, traditional hangar nine. You can power it two stroke with anything from a 46 to a 55. Okay. Or if you want to run into our sidle line into the four strokes, anywhere from a, a 72 or the 82 or an FG-14 gas, which is the 82 version of oh. Saito's gas. Oh, it's that... set up, we've set the spacing on the firewall to allow that. Okay. And then we have a power option for electric. So you can run, and this carries, whereas the Corsair 50 had our Power 46 on a four cell, this has the new Power 50 on a five cell battery. Okay. So we've got a little more Warbird go juice. Not that it needs it, but, but you, you want a it, fast air. You want a fast yeah. airplane. P40's right. fast. It's got to fly fast. To me, this 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 it's a Warbird, but it flies just extremely to me like a pylon racer. It just it's a Warbird. But man, is it slick. It's just so streamlined and so clean. So it just, it really goes quite fast. And you've got really good access to get all the radio components or the batteries through a nice big top hatch. Got your magnetic hatch, right, just pops right. right off. Now you'll notice there's no switches on the outside. Right now this is set up for electric, but we put the switch for the battery, switch for the radio inside the hatch. So even if you're not electric, your, your switch can be hidden yep. so it's not on the side yep. of the plane. Easy access, it's not tucked down in there, it's right up there where you can easily get to it. The hatch is held on by magnets, real simple. It's on, just like that. All right, and what's the, uh, what's the cost and availability on this plane? We began shipping the airplane last month. They are available, and current price on the airplane is $229.99. So it's a great, great bargain for getting a classic Warbird in the air. Yes. Yeah, we think so, and, and so far the reception from the community has been pretty good. The models seem to like it. Well, Bill, we, we really appreciate it. It's a beautiful plane. I'm hoping to get one myself. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you.